What's the purpose of depression and worthless sentiments? Our worth is infinite, hope is within. We're potent kin, but they dope us with sins. The only reason for living is to grow and envision the scope of our givens. Breathe and kiss the ethers, kindred. We're so limitless. I read this for ethra like I'm speaking the Gita. Kama from Nila, Rama and Sita. That's the basis of hoping, like sand paintings from Hopis, the Tibetan monks. The Quran, chapter 67, verse 19 states, Do they not see the birds above their head, spreading their wings and folding them? None, save the merciful, sustains them. He observes all things. Now this verse is a beautiful verse because <clears throat> he's talking about The merciful is the one that sustains the birds, even the birds who are flapping their wings in the air. Not only that, it also states he observes all things. How could this be? See, when you know yourself to be the space that all things appear in, that aware space, that all things are birthed out of and that die in two. This verse becomes um, very clear to you. Again, it says, do they not see the birds above their heads spreading their wings and folding them? None except the merciful sustains them. He observes all things. Now, let me give you a model that I like to use, which is the screen and the movie. Because I believe this correlates well to explaining. Maybe intellectually for some, but it can become your experience if you see this even within your own being. When you, when a movie is playing and you see the landscape of the mountains and below the forest and the deer running in the grass outside the forest and you see the blue sky with white clouds and you see birds flapping their wings. The character in the movie, if he was to use mind or thought, would say, well, of course, from the character's point of view in the movie, which most of us who are born into <clears throat> or believe that are born into the world and identify as the, the independent person, believe, well, that bird is sustaining himself by the flap of his wings against the air. And this is how science likes to describe it. Let's say there is no God because the bird of his own volition is flapping his wings and sustaining himself by the force that he is um, pressing against the wind or the air is causing him to do this. Well, the Quran just states, do you not see these birds above your head? Nothing but the merciful, which is God, sustains them. So back to the to this um, <clears throat> to this model I'm using of the screen and the movie. Well, in the landscape of the movie, the birds are flying in the air. But again, if you go up to the screen of the movie and you touch the deer that are in the grass, you only feel screen. You touch the clouds, all you feel is the screen. You touch the mountains, all you feel is the screen. You touch the birds, what are they made of? Screen. What is sustaining the whole movie? 
And what is the whole movie made out of? It is made out of the screen. See, when you step back from the, the perspective of the character and you observe the, experience, the whole experience as the screen, you will see all the things on the movie or on the screen. It's sustained by the screen and made of the screen. And this is what is meant that the creator sustains even the birds above your head. And like I said, not only does he sustain them, they are made of him. They are, they are, um, They are modes of him. There is no difference between the screen and the bird because like I said, when you go up to the screen and touch it, it is the bird. Although it may seem like many, it is all one screen. Now, in order to understand this model I'm using, it would have to be an aware screen because everything in the movie is aware, like everything in the world is made of awareness. And so, according to the character in the movie, he would think the deer and the birds are separate from him. But from the perspective of the one, see, when you see the movie from the point of view of an aware screen, all of it is you. Although from the point of view of the character, it seems to be the many. And this is what is meant by the last phrase in this verse that says, he observes all things. Because the one that is observing not only the actions, but the sensations, the feelings, and the thoughts of the character in the movie also observes the sensations and feelings of the animals, the trees the grass, the clouds, the sky. It is only one screen, and it is only one awareness that knows all things within all people. Look within yourself. What is the one that knows all things about you? You were never not this. You have always been this. We just perceived ourselves to be a character in the movie when the whole time we were the screen. That is always at peace. Never unsettled when a thunderstorm comes on the screen or in the movie. The screen is never, never wet, never gets wet by the th thunderstorm. It's never shaken up by the terrible storm that comes. It is always at peace. We just have to come to realize this. Shalom.